Now, once you've identified what the sentence patterns are, um, the next thing to do is try to apply it to your own writing. You want to analyze the sentences in your paper to make sure that you do have a variety of sentence patterns. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take some passages from a reading uh, to show how you would analyze sentence patterns to figure out what they are. So uh, for example, um, I lived in Master Hugh's family about seven years. So we want to go back and look at um, finding subjects and verbs, which we lo have looked at already a couple of other times this term. And we see we have the verb lived, we have the subject I, and if we look through the whole rest of this sentence, we see that we don't have any other clauses. This is the only clause. It is, of course, an independent clause because uh, it stands alone as a sentence. So if we look at our formulas over here, we see we have one independent clause. OK, uh, now my mistress had not only ceased to instruct But she had set her face against my instruction. So once again, we look at this sentence and we find subjects and verbs so that we can find the clauses. In this case, we have mistress had ceased, and we have she had set. So now we want to say, OK, we've got two clauses here. So now we have to say, are these independent clauses or dependent clauses? So you look, my mistress had not only ceased to instruct. That is an independent clause. It can stand by itself. So there you have it. Then we have but she had set her face against my instruction. Once again, we look through here, there are no dependent words. So what that means is, this is also an independent clause. So now, we go over to our formulas here. We see we have two independent clauses. Presto, we have a compound. Now, another one. My mistress. was, as I have said, a kind and tender-hearted woman. So, uh, once again, we look through this sentence and we see uh, a subject mistress, a verb was, we have a subject I, and we have as se have said. So now we look at this thing and we say, OK, what kinds of clauses? We have these two clauses. Um, we have my mistress was a kind and tender hearted woman. That stands by itself. So that's an independent clause. Then as I have said, look at that word as. As is a dependent word. Uh, when I say, as I have said, that doesn't stand alone as a sentence. That's a dependent clause. So if we look back at the formula, we see we have one independent clause, one dependent clause. We have a complex sentence. Um, OK, she commenced. When I first 
went to live with her. to treat me as she supposed that one human being ought to treat another. All right. So, once again, this is a fairly long one. So we want to look and see where our clauses are. Look at our subjects and verbs. We have she commenced. We have I went. We have she supposed. And we have one human being ought to treat another. So what we want to look now is what are our clauses? Are they independent or dependent? She commenced. That one can stand alone. So that one is an independent clause. Then we have when I first went to live with her. When is a dependent word. So when I first went to live with her can't stand alone as a sentence. So that one is a dependent clause. Then we have as she supposed, as, once again, there's our dependent word, as she supposed, dependent clause. And then we have that one human being ought to treat another, that, once again, dependent clause. So if we add this up, we have an independent clause, one, two, three dependent clauses. So we look at our formula here, and once again, just one independent clause. So, but we do have three dependent clauses. So this one is also complex. So this is the kind of thing that you can do, especially if you do find your reading is kind of boring and tedious. Look and see what kinds of sentences you have. If you discover, for example, that all you have is a whole bunch of short, simple sentences, that's your clue that you're going to want to try to stick them together, uh, either as compound sentences, where you use semicolons and commas plus the fanboys, or maybe you make them complex using uh, dependent words, or you may even get uh, fancy and do compound complex and use both uh, independent clauses and dependent clauses and put them together. But the idea is, if you do this, if you have a lot of different sentences, it keeps your reading or your reader from either getting bored or falling asleep. So work on mixing it up. Give yourself a variety of things for your reading.